During this presentation, you will be shown the controls of the M816 medium wrecker crane and how to perform the steps to put the crane into operation. The crane is mounted on the bed of the M816 medium wrecker. The crane is hydraulically operated. Engine power is directed through the power divider to the hydraulic pump. Hydraulic pressure from the pump is directed to the control valve bank assembly in the crane operator station. The crane is capable of 270 degrees rotation with stops. And 360 degrees rotation without stops. boom will extend from 10 to 18 feet and elevate approximately 45 degrees. The safe load data plate is located above the control valve bank in the crane operator station. For crane operation, position the wrecker in relation to the load with the least amount of boom extension required to perform the task. Outriggers are found on each corner of the wrecker body. Outriggers are used to stabilize the vehicle for the crane operation when the load exceeds the safe load data plate specifications. The procedures in the vehicle cab are the same for all crane operations. Set the controls as follows. If the wrecker is not on level ground, set the parking brakes. With the engine running, depress the clutch pedal all the way down. Move the gear shift selector lever to the fifth gear position and move the transfer selector to the neutral position. Move the power divider control lever down to the engage position and release the clutch pedal. Press and hold the electric brake lock button. Depress the service brake pedal. Release the service brake pedal. Then release the electric brake lock button. Caution, brakes are now locked in place. Do not use for prolonged parking. Now move to the rear of the truck to the controls. Move the engine clutch to the disengage position. Move the control lever forward to the engage position and engage the clutch. Then pull the throttle forward to the open position. Engine speed will be automatically adjusted by the fuel injection pump governor to 1250 plus or minus 50 RPM. This procedure is the same for all crane operations. Once in the crane operator station, you will have four hydraulic two-way valves. Each valve is equipped with a spring-loaded control lever which returns the valve to the neutral position whenever the lever is released by the operator. The boom control lever controls up and down angular movement of the boom. Pulling the control lever will cause the boom to go up. Pushing the control lever will cause the boom to go down. The hoist control lever controls the raising and lowering of the hoist block. Pulling the control lever will cause the hoist block to raise. Pushing the control lever will cause the hoist block to lower. The crowd control lever controls extending and retracting operation of the boom. Pushing the control lever causes the boom to extend. 
When extending the boom, the hoist and crowd control levers must be used together to prevent jamming of the hoist block into the boom sheaves. Pulling the control lever causes the boom to retract. The swing control lever controls rotation of the crane assembly to the left or right. To prepare for lifts that require outriggers, follow this procedure for all four outriggers. Remove the L-shaped pin, grab the outrigger base plate, and pull it out until the outrigger stops. Swing the outrigger base plate down to the ground. Install the L-shaped pin back into the frame. Place the outrigger handle into the outrigger collar. Turn the base plate until it reaches the ground. Then tighten with the outrigger collar. Caution, make sure the outrigger is straight up and down. When lifting heavy loads to the rear, outriggers and shipper braces will be used. Remove the hoist block sling. Take pressure off the T-shaped pin and remove the T-shaped pins. Raise the boom to the height you need. Do not go past the third hole in the shipper braces. Install the T-shaped pin back into the shipper braces. Lower the boom to put the pressure on the shipper braces. Extend the boom to the length needed. Lower hoist block to the load. Caution, always pay close attention to the safe load data plate. Hook up the hoist block to the load. This type of lifting, as you can see, is straight up and down. Warning, during any crane operation, tell all personnel to stand clear of the crane and load. A snapped cable, shifting or swinging load can be very dangerous. For a lift and swing operation when the load exceeds the safe load data plate, the Sherpa braces will be stowed on the boom. Remove the Sherpa brace pins at the frame rails. Raise the boom about two feet to clear the rear winch and swing the Sherpa braces up to the boom and install the clips. For heavy lifting to the sides or the rear at a 15-foot radius, boom jacks can be used. The maximum that can be lifted is 20,000 pounds straight up and down. To prepare the wrecker for travel, install the shipper braces.
Install the sling on the hoist block and secure it to the eyes on the body. Move the throttle control lever all the way back, disengage the clutch control lever, move the crane drive control lever to the disengage position and install the lock pin. Move the clutch control lever to the engage position. Stow the outriggers in the reverse order. Now move to the vehicle cab. Depress the clutch pedal all the way down. Disengage the power divider. Move the transfer selector to low or high depending on the need. Place the transmission in first gear. Press the brake pedal once or twice to release the electric brake lock. Release the parking brake. and release the clutch to relocate the wrecker. You have just seen the basics of the M816 medium wrecker crane. As can be seen, the wrecking crane capabilities, along with your skill, will allow you to be versatile and effective in many lifting operations and situations.